Hi students, welcome back to lecture class 2 in the advanced manufacturing system. The elements of mechanical engineering course. This comes under the fifth module. This is chapter 3. This is the last chapter. In today's lecture class, we are going to discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of the CNC machine. CNC machining center, vertical machining center VMC, horizontal machining center HMC, CNC turning centers. A small, a brief introduction about these uh, machining centers. Next lecture class will be on the robotics. Now, advantages of CNC machine. <coughs> Say, adv higher productivity. First is higher productivity. That means you can produce many, many components. You can, uh, 365, 365 days you can work in CNC machine. So, it produces so many work pieces, so many products you can produce, so many products. So, you have higher productivity. So, productivity means what? Is the ratio of output by input. That means the ratio of output, how many output is there corresponding to the input. Okay, so you will get more, more amount of uh, products can be manufactured in a given time. So in the lathe, say for example, uh, a person uh, shift, one shift is 12 hours, assume 12 hours. So he manufactures some 8 components or let us say 10 components, round figure, 10 components he will manufacture. Okay. Today he will manufacture 10 components, uh, tomorrow he will manufacture, he will produce some 8 components, the day after tomorrow some day 9. So randomly he will prepare the, he will produce the components because is uh, because human error, sometimes the problems with the problems with the human beings, as the operator, uh, some machine, some external uh, uh, factors, he cannot, he cannot work uh, fully. Uh, so the, it depends upon the, so many factors human factors when it comes for conventional machining operations okay but in machining cnc machining okay that problems are not there with this because if you just fix so this particular product manufacturing time is 10 minutes means definitely within a 10 minutes it will give the one component with the high accuracy and surface finish so that is everything is said and done the well defined thing so 10 minutes is required to get a good quality product means that's all 10 minutes okay uh, say one hour is required means one hour that's all not more than that so provided uh, all the factors uh, power is supply is continuous power supply is there okay assume that continuous power supply is there machine is not having any problem okay so this it will pro say in a shift in a shift cnc machine will give uh, 10 components definitely it will give 10 components every day Every day, ten components will give. There is no uh, in that. There is no uh, uh, what do you call other the other thing. Okay, it will give eight components or seven components, nothing like that. So definitely, it will give ten components for one shift. Is a so it is a planned thing. Okay, that is higher productivity. The three sixty five days it can work. So more amount, more number of uh, uh, products can be manufactured with the CNC machine but compared to the conventional machine. So higher precision with better quality control. Higher precision. That means. Uh, Every every time, say for example, one component, one component size is there. Say one component size. Say let us say uh, some diameter. So diameter is having some uh, so 10 mm diameter. Diameter. So the diameter always whenever you measure, the diameter will be the same thing. So it is it is, it is never it never have I mean, less than the 10 mm or more than 10 mm. So that problem is always. So precision is always a high precision. So, the meaning of accuracy I told you in the last class, it is the degree of closeness to a true value. So, precision means what? Precision every time, every time and always it will give the same value. Whenever you check it, say component number 1. So, for example, component number 1 is there and the diameter of the component number is 10 mm. Diameter of the component 2 is 10 mm. Diameter of the component is uh, 10 mm. So, every time it will give 10 mm only, 10 mm product only it will give. Okay, there is no uh, less than 10 mm or more than 10 like that. No, that is not, it is not uh, you know, having any problem with the precision. So the precision means always it, it has to give the same value. It has to give the same value. Whenever you measure, it will give the same value. That is called as a precision. Okay. Uh, so this uh, CNC will give always will have high precision with better quality control. The multi-operational facilities are tasks. Multi-operations can do more than one operations. Okay, there is multi operational facilities. Next, improved automation. So, improved automation means uh, uh, so, in this, uh, uh, so in some cases, uh, many CNC machines can run unattended. That is, uh, you, know, un you can you not attend also. Okay, 
for one operator require one C and it is not like that. So you just program it and you just do it another work. Okay, that machine it will, it will take care by itself. Okay, you need not worry about that. So you can you can uh, control more than one machine, two machines, three machines. One single person can control more than three, four machines. So more improved automation is there. Repeatability and reliability. Repeatability and reliability. Always you will get a good, uh, good quality product and the the size, tolerance, everything. So dimensions of the product, everything is correct only. All the products you are manufacturing a some hundred components means hundred components will have the same dimension. No uh, change in the dimension, so it rep it will give re repeatedly. It will be the same uh, dimension, and you can reliable also. The reliable means you can believe that. Okay, so there uh, you need not go for. Uh, we say for example, person uh, uh, operator is doing. He has manufactured the product, uh, but uh, every time you have to check all the components. You have to check it. Okay, all the components. You have to quality control department. They have to check all the uh, components whether it is correctly matching the dimension as per the drawings. It is matching or not. So, uh, the quality control department they have to check it and they have to then send it for the packing section. Okay, but the, this in this CNC machine you can believe it. Your sample you can take some samples and you can check it. Then you can send it for packing also. Next flexibility. Flexibility means as I told you earlier in the lecture class one, you have you can you have the flexibility to uh, change the program and you can do any kind any variety of uh, uh, products in it. Uh, change in the dimension can be done the uh, change in the shape can be done anything is possible in this because only the software is available the sub program is available in the program if you slightly change it you will be able to do a, a new product with a new dimension new shape that is possible so it offers a greater flexibility so motion control so motion control means cnc allows the motion of cutting tool in two or more direction x y z as i told you earlier x direction y direction z direction you can change the control you have a, a better control because uh, in the conventional machine, operator is having only two hands are there. So two, uh, th y is there is z, x and y can control with the two hands. What about the z? Z is not having. So x, y, z simultaneously you have to control it so that you will get the, the particular profile. Okay, profile. you want to make a contour profiling, you require three uh, direction control is required. So that is an aeroplane body I told you, aeroplane body is, is a pro profile. Okay, a turbine blade that is also is a profile, it is a contour one, curved one. So, that requires a x, y, z direction uh, slides simultaneously. You have to control it, then only you will get that particular uh, contour, otherwise, it is not possible. So, motion control is a, uh, is a good control in the all x, y, z direction. Next, increases machine utilization. So, if you properly use CNC machine, can run continuously for 24 hours, 365 days, it is possible. Okay. So these are the advantages of CNC machine. Next disadvantages. Disadvantage high initial cost. So you have to spend a lot of money for this. Compared to conventional machine, you have to spend a lot of money. Okay. So you are getting some uh, the conventional machine with a good uh, quality. You get one lakh means you have to spend minimum six lakhs for CNC machine. Within a one lakh, one and a half lakh, you will get the uh, machine as a conventional machine lathe or milling. But uh, the CNC, you have to spend minimum of six to seven lakhs. Minimum, it will be more than that also. You have CNC machine depending upon the size and specification. You, even if you are going to get for forty lakhs machine also, it is available CNC machine. Next, high maintenance cost. So you have to then and there you have to do maintenance because electronic equipment. So there will be a problem with the maintenance. You have to do the periodically the maintenance so for that maintenance cost also. Service engineer is required. Service engineer you have to call service engineer and you have to do some works, repair works, and you have to replace some parts, electronic items or any mechanical items. For that you have to spend a lot of money. So maintenance cost is more for this. A required a skilled program. Okay, programmer, the one who knows the programming, programming knowledge, programming skill, they know he can operate. Anybody cannot operate that CNC machine. So, operator must know about the CNC programming. What is CNC programming? The programming consisting of G codes and M codes. This I already told you. So, G codes means preparatory function, M codes is a miscellaneous function. So, G code means what? Cutting operation. That is a preparatory function. What all the cutting operations are? They turning, linear interpolation, circular interpolation, drilling, all these operations, machining operations are called as, or comes under the category of uh, preparatory functions, G codes. M codes means miscellaneous function. Uh, these are auxiliary functions which will help for the cutting condition, cutting operation. Example, coolant on, coolant off, spindle on, spindle off, tool change, door open, door close, check open, check close. All these things are uh, comes under the miscellaneous function M codes. 
Next, uh, CNC machining centers. CNC machining center means what? So, CA, this machining center, it will perform any operation. That is a machining center. Okay, CNC, it will perform only one operation. But machining center to perform more than one operation. Multiple operation. In a single machine, you can do drilling, milling, tapping, boring operations. A single machine will do that work. That is machining center. That is the uh, significance of the machining center. Okay, you can do multiple operation, drilling, milling, tapping, boring operations by variety of tools with automatic tool change, ATC. Okay, I'll show you the, what is ATC. ATC means a tool magazine will be there. Okay, that multiple tools are more than one tool, it will be there. So, you can you know, do multiple operation with the help of automatic tool changer. So, in this we come across a first one is vertical machining center, second one is the horizontal machining center. First, we we'll look into the what is vertical machining center. Vertical machining center means spindle will be the vertical spindle, spindle, what is spindle, it will be in vertical condition, vertical position. So, for that position, spindle, you have to fix the tool. So, tool will be rotating, okay, tool will be rotating and spindle will be in a vertical direction, okay. So, this vertical spindle used for flat type of work such as plates, okay, rectangular plates or some square plates, that flat plates you can use it, uh, where machining is done on only one face of the work piece, only one face. So, if you just use a flat pay, uh, plate, one face you can do it only one phase you can do machining operation in single setup okay with the use of rotary table rotary table also i'll show you so rotary table more than one side of the workpiece we can do it or several workpieces can be machined without operation operator in mention so that is why for, that is why rotary tables are used rotary tables are used so it has four axes of motion uh, that is three are linear three are linear motion okay uh, well, the fourth one is the ro table rotary axis okay table, table will rotate the table is going to rotate so three are linear uh, x y z linear. third one is the table rotary axis that can be used either for indexing or full rotary motion so this is about the vertical machining center the one machine center means multiple operations the machine will do multiple operation more than one operation that is multiple operation Okay, that is called as machining center. So, drilling, milling, tapping, boring operations, examples, it will do. Okay, and with the help of automatic tool changer. In this, two types are there. One is vertical machining center. Second one is horizontal machining center. Vertical machining center means a spindle will be in vertical direction. Okay, for that you have to fix a tool. Okay, cutting tool. So, that it will do the operation on the flat pieces. Flat work pieces. Flat, rectangle, not a round, cylindrical. So, it is flat work pieces. Rectangular or square that flat work pieces it will do only one time once one side okay one side only it will do a single setup so you want to do again you want to change it okay uh, with the rotary help of rot rotary table rotary table you can just slide it you can rotate it then you can all the sides can be machined at a time okay here's a rotary table more than one side of the work piece or several work pieces can be machined without the operator invention operator need not in interfere in that automatically it will take care of because of rotary table operator need not interfere in the machining operation you can fix, write the program you can keep it everything and you can go to uh, another machine and the entire thing will be taken care of by the machine itself because of the having the rotary table next uh, it has four axis of motion is there three linear motions one is in the fourth is the tables rotary axis that can be used either for indexing or pull indexing means you have to change it so for example for gear cutting okay we we'll use the indexing operation or pull rotary motion so this is about the uh, vertical machining uh, vertical machining center you can see here uh, you can see this is a vertical uh, spindle is there so the, to, the automatic tool changer atc so this is atc written automatic tool changer so, so many tools you can see here okay so so more than one tool is there so it is a magazine we say magazine so magazine means it is a round thing and it's many tool slots are there so tool slots we can see here so threading tool <laughs> drilling tool paper turning tool drill, all these are the tools so in the one one product if you have so many operations are there means one tool will come it will do the operation and next it will be indexed it will next tool will come and next tool will do the operation on the same workpiece next tool will come next tool will do the doing the operation so, so that you can make it, you can make use of uh, the this uh, automatic tool changer to do the operation simultaneously without changing the tool. That is the significance, that is the importance of this automatic tool changer. So, whenever you want some other, some other drilling tool, you again you have to fix the drilling tool, it is not required here. 
so all the tools are there whatever the operations are there so all operations are there. without wasting the time for changing the tool you can do simultaneously if you give the t uh, tool number uh, the program if you give the tool number t first you are using tool t01 assume it is a t01 so t01 you will do the work after some time t02 has to come t02 you give the command t02 has to come so then t m m06 t02 like that m06 means uh, tool change to tool number 2 so that is a code word m06 means tool change so the t02 so then it will take the machine will understand it will automatically it will change it will it will rotate it will rotate it will rotate and it will just come to the two t t02 t02 will t02 will come in position and it will start uh, machining next after that you want to the third tool something like reaming tool and into any operation uh, so third tool this is a t03 assume m06 t03 like that you have to change you have to give the command okay m06 stands for tool change and uh, tool number with the help of tool number 203 is a tool number particular tool operation knurling tool threading tool like that this is the automatic tool changer next horizontal machining center so it has a horizontal spindle vertical machining center vertical spindle was vertical now is horizontal machining center. horizontal spindle is there it is used for heavy rectangular parts big thick rectangular size so thickness of the rectangle the, the parts with workpiece will be more so in that case the horizontal machine centers are used where machining has to be done on, on more than one phases in a single setup so more than one phases okay uh, single setup you also because you take a, a rectangular piece how many phases are there six phases are there so in vertical machining center you can do at a time only one, one first top phase you can do operation machining operation but if you want to do more than one operation, you can use it horizontal machining center, the rectangle rectangular phase, because six phases are there. If you want to do more than one, so five, uh, four phases, five phases, you want to do some machining operation. Okay, top, uh, sides, uh, okay, all um, operation, all the things you want to do means you can then use the horizontal machining center, HMC. So more than one phase in a single setup, in a single setup. Okay, and since the machines, uh, machines involve bulk metal removal rates, the cutting tools used are normally large size okay uh, so bulk metal bulk metal, thickness of the metal is more 10 mm 15 mm like that more than that also so you require you your cutting tool size also large, big size cutting tools are required because it has to take the loads from the workpiece the maintenance cost on the machine is high obviously the maintenance cost will be more in this so this is the vertical uh, horizontal machining center you see the horizontal horizontal spindle is there horizontal spindle and here is a rotary table you can see the rotary table here okay and here you have this work table you have to place the work piece you have to place the work piece next cnc turning center so turning center means is like a lathe a lathe is a turning machine turner we use it to perform multiple machining operations like only turning not on any other milling operation only turning operation there is a work piece will rotate okay by rotating this is cylindrical jobs okay a cylindrical turning taper turning thread cutting facing parting off uh, like so many operations you can do with the help of automatic tool changer so this is the cnc turning center this is the turn cnc turning center is like a lathe only so thank you for watching the video again uh, next lecture class will be on robotics thank you